I mean, Roxanne Perez just getting her shoulders off the mat. It has been all Jade in this contest here at NXT Heat Wave. And who could have predicted the timeline for these two after winning the aforementioned NXT Women's Tag Team titles? Yeah, I will say this. It is unheard of in this industry. Tag champions. We've seen them split before. We've seen tag teams fall apart. But tag champions splitting before they've even had their first defense, giving up their championships. Jade throwing the championship in the title, never been done before in this industry, to my knowledge, as we take another look at the hatred boiling Boom. over between these two as well. You might expect former friends, former best friends colliding. Yeah, well, and Jade showed her true colors. It opened the door for Chance and Carter to capture the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Of course, last night on Raw, Asuka and Bliss advancing in the WWE Women's Tag Team title tournament. But right now, more than just about a title. Absolutely. Both women looking to exercise the ghosts of their past, looking to get a monkey off their back. And I'll say this, as bad as vacating those NXT Tag Team Women's Tag Team Championships would have felt, losing tonight is going to cut even deeper. NXT Universe, you can see them trying to rally behind. Roxanne Perez has pressed now inside cradle, inside cradle, shoulders down, and ooh, that was close. But Jay just able to kick out, and now rolling into her own pinning predicament in another near fall. Whoa, 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 shifting weight, and another kick out. Perez desperately trying to get a pinfall attempt, really needs an onslaught of offense going back in the other direction. Shoulders down one more time. Nice bridge by Perez. And again, these two who know each other so very well travel the roads before making it to NXT. They know exactly what the other one is thinking as they're clashing here at NXT Heat Wave Center of the Ring. Who will get the better of one another and both again, same idea. Roxanne Perez just about getting a little breather oh. in this match. Same page, same idea by these former best friends. But when I think about Jade, what drives someone to become so egotistical? We're talking about egotistical. The egotist in this incident oh, is the person. Thing. Egotistical. Mandy Rose, don't, don't forget the championship there. match coming up later don't tonight. Don't you go there. Look, egotist in this particular case is the person who wasn't satisfied by having one championship, the NXT Women's Tag Championship. It's the person who wanted more. That, to me, is the egotist in this scenario. Now, Certainly well, not Cora J. Well, Perez is thinking that her friend took the biggest opportunity in her life away from her. Her friend took the NXT Tag Team titles away from her because she wanted the spotlight just for herself. And Perez now thinking about those moments and is starting to bring the heat right to Jade here at Heat Wave. Finally getting that Boom. second win. Rode out the storm from Cora Jade. And now in full control. Jade believes all eyes should be on her while the eyes of Perez are fixated on her former best friend. As Perez continuing to try to drive through Jade. Absolutely giving a good hiding to Cora Jade at this point. Cora Jade in desperation. Now it over into the cover, and Jade just able to get the shoulder up, and Perez almost in disbelief. You got to imagine. For someone who said earlier tonight her stomach was in knots, she's got to be conflicted at some point with what she has to do to her former best friend. Into another cover. Innovative offense, and again, Jade just able to kick out. You can see that emotion boiling now, bubbling out of Perez. Yeah, if Perez liked Cora Jade as much as she said she did, perhaps she should know that Cora Jade is not going to lie down that easily. It's going to take something very special to put Cora Jade away this evening. Looking for Pop Rocks. Looking for Pop Rocks. Jade, though, had it scouted. And oh, man. What a devastating knee. Oh, it's some more innovative offense. This time by Jade. Will it be enough? And Perez kicks out at two near fall in this matchup. And to your point you just made, what must be going through the mind of Jade now? Yeah, I suspect Jade's got something up her sleeve. Let's face it, she normally does. This is a completely different side of Cora Jade than we saw for the past 12 months. Oh, her trusty old faithful. Now you're the official. I don't think Cora Jade cares about being disqualified. Swing and a miss. <laughs> oh my, how the tables have turned. Think about this, Roxanne. Think about it. A 
that tray. You know Perez wants to win the right way to, from behind. Not like this. Ooh. Right down on that kendo stick. Say what you like about Cora J, but that is the smartest thing you're going to see all evening. Hats off to J. Oh, this is obviously the turning point in the matchup. Cora J did not care anything about the rules, but the same can't be said for Roxanne Perez. That inner turmoil coming out, wanting to do the right thing, and it cost her here tonight because you knew Jade was going to pick up the scraps. Any sort of door that opened, she was going to kick it wide open by any means necessary. Yeah, and here's why Cora Jade is now so, so impressive. She has finally developed a killer instinct here in NXT. Are we entering into the generation of Jade?